Hi, Will Smith, Jim Langley here. Today, since I never actually timed myself, and since maybe you'd like to see it, I'm going to pre-tension, just lace, totally loose wheels, the two ways it's commonly done. For pre-tensioning, every nipple gets turned multiple revolutions, so maybe we can save some real time. Let's see how fast I can do it. Building wheels for yourself, or even a few for friends, there's usually no rush. You can take your time lacing, truing, and tensioning. As soon as you start building more wheels though, maybe you get some regular paying customers or if you land a job as a pro wheel builder, at that point it makes sense to try to find ways to speed up. The first common method is pre-tensioning by hand using a spoke wrench. So I'm doing that first. I start at the valve hole and go around the wheel turning every nipple five full turns or ten half turns which is what it looks like if you watch how I hold and turn the wrench. It might look like it, but I'm not actually applying much tension to the spokes at all. Instead, I'm mainly screwing down every nipple, trying to get them to the same position on every spoke. When working with a spoke wrench, you look at the threads on the spoke as a guide to how far down to thread the nipple to know if they're the same. And counting the turns helps. I'm using my favorite spoke wrench, a Park Tool SWO, the black one. If you can get the nipples to the same place on all the spokes, you accomplish four important things in one step. First, you quickly and gently introduce the same tiny amount of tension on every spoke. Second, because the nipples are all now at the same position on the spokes, the wheel becomes round without major high or low spots. Third, the wheel also gets laterally true without side-to-side -side wobbles. And fourth, as long as you spoke like this correct, the rim will also be centered. Note that the wheel won't be perfectly round, true, or centered, but it will be close. And that saves time when finishing wheels. I know it seems like it takes a long time when you're watching this. And when you do it, it feels like that too. Your hand can even get tired, especially if you have to do this on a number of wheels in a row. But even though I dropped the wrench once and only had one cup of coffee, I finished the 32 spokes in 3 minutes and 16 seconds, or a pace of about 6 seconds per nipple. The limitation of pre-tensioning by hand with a spoke wrench, counting turns, and watching the depth is that you are basically estimating where to stop turning each nipple. And this means the wheel won't get all that evenly tensioned or true or round. So a more accurate and faster way to do it is with tools that guarantee that the nipples always stop at the same place, at the same depth on the spokes. Like this Unior Speed Nipple Bit. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to order one or learn more. It's actually a driver bit for a screw gun.
Watch carefully as I use it to screw a nipple on a spoke by hand. What I want you to see is how the tool stops turning the nipple at a certain point. This happens because the driver's blade has a protruding tip that bumps into the top of the spoke. This all-important feature works like magic to guarantee that when you get done driving all the nipples, that they are all positioned exactly the same. Most of the wheels I build have square drive nipples with square heads. So let me show you the driver bit I made for that. It works exactly like the Unier bit. For the tip that bumps into the spoke, I built this tool to hold a piece of a spoke. That's the black rod sticking out the end. I haven't been able to find a square drive nipple driver bit like the one I made. Uh, it took some work making it. It would be great if they were readily available. If you know where to buy one, please leave a comment and let everyone know. So I'm putting my custom square drive nipple driver bit in a screw gun and now I've got the just laced totally loose wheel and I'm going to go around and time how long it takes to tighten the nipples with the driver, the screw gun. I think as you watch you'll see that the, that the screw gun is easier than the spoke wrench, than tightening the spokes with the spoke wrench like we did before. But how much faster do you think it'll be? Any guesses? I thought it would be at least twice as fast. Let's see. Sometimes it's slow to get the tool seated on the nipple. You have to do that or else you risk ruining the nipple or at least rounding the end if it's not seated correctly and you start spinning the drill.
And the winner is the Speed Bit with a time of 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Or almost a minute faster than doing it with a spoke wrench. And a pace, and a pace of about 4.5 seconds per nipple. I was surprised the speed bit wasn't even faster than the spoke wrench. I thought it might be only a third the time or even a quarter of the time it took. Overall though, when it comes to how to speed up wheel building, the speed bit and the screw gun uh, is, is the winner hands down because it, build, it speeds it up. It saves time both when you're pre-tensioning wheels and when you're finishing the wheels. That's where the real time savings comes in because the wheels, when you get done with the pre-tensioning with the speed bit, are nice and true and round and centered in that one, two to two and a half minute step. And that saves you a lot of time when it comes to finishing the wheel. I had fun making this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you like videos about bicycle wheels and bicycles, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and help support it. And I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.